Hi there, welcome to the weather forecast discussion for Longmont, Colorado, the week beginning Thursday, April 30th. We're heading into May, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Monday, May the 4th, May the 4th be with you. I've got to do that. Uh, we have a moon between first quarter and full, so quite well illuminated. Uh, coming up at uh, 6.16 p.m., so it'll be up before sunset. Let's take a look at the water vapor image. Again, if you are just new to these uh, briefings, we have reds and oranges as dry sinking air, and the grays whites as being uh, moist and often rising air. The purples are high clouds or very cold temperatures aloft. Here's a big thunderstorm complex that uh, formed in the Texas, Oklahoma area last night and has been drifting to the east southeast uh, as part of this trough down here. The red line is a trough, a dip in the atmosphere, a lowering of the heights of the atmosphere, and the big blue lines are ridges, areas of uh, higher pressure. You can see that the airflow here is up and over the ridge, down to the trough, up again over this ridge, and down. So the ridge trough pattern in the upper atmosphere really gives us an idea of the weather that we're going to have. We're going to have storminess in and to the right of troughs usually. So let's take a look a little bit forward in time to Thursday morning about when this goes up. Uh, the ridge has drifted to the east. There's a trough coming on the west coast that wasn't visible in the satellite image. Then we have our trough that had the thunderstorm complex off of Houston, now down to the deep south, heading for Florida with a uh, pretty strong cutoff low uh, south of the Great Lakes, and we have a ridge off the east coast. This big ridge here is going to give us all the heat for Thursday. Record high for that day, I believe, in Denver is over 90. So last week and into the early part of this week, it looked like that might be able to be matched or broken. I don't think so now. I think it will stay in the mid to upper 80s. It's strong, but maybe not that strong to produce record heat. For Thursday night, we have this warm front to our uh, east. We're in the what's called the warm sector of this system here with a little front coming down. We've got storminess in the northern uh, Intermountain West, and that is going to be coming down to affect us uh, later in the week here. For Friday, as that front comes closer, we'll see a chance of convection, so you might get some thunder in with the uh, rain showers that will be moving in. Nothing is severe uh, in this map. There's no severe weather expected, uh, and I think that that's a very good forecast. I'm not concerned about any large hail or tornadoes, especially around here. Not yet. Just wait till next month and beyond. So Friday night, what we have is a low, not a very strong low, but a low kind of organizing in the Texas Oklahoma Panhandle area. We have that front drifting in and down to here. And we'll have east-southeast flow into the state, bringing moisture from the Great Plains, from the Gulf of Mexico, up into northern Colorado, a little bit of upslope, a little bit of cold air aloft, uh, little ripples in the atmosphere passing will all give us a chance of some rain showers and just uh, that little bit of thunderstorm uh, action as well. None of this is really strong. With that thunderstorm complex heading off with the front that was associated with that, a lot of the Great Plains moisture has been pushed out into the Gulf for now. Saturday, a little bit of more, uh, a little bit more moisture will return to the plains. The low does strengthen a little bit more, giving us a little more upslope. We'll have probably a chance of thunder uh, again with the rain showers, largely in the afternoon and evening when daytime heating makes the lower atmosphere more unstable. So it's kind of a hybrid uh, early spring, late spring feel here, right after a taste of summer temperatures on Thursday. The amount of precipitation we can look to see is in the quarter inch to half inch area around Longmont, maybe around Boulder a little bit more, a little bit more up, uh, west of Fort Collins, 
the Palmer divide might get uh, closer to three quarters of an inch or half inch. Um, so nice little, nice little water uh, shot to the front range. Let's take a look at the next 10 days. We have temperatures here in this bumpy up and down line. This is early morning at the low temperatures, uh, mid-afternoon for the highest temperatures. I've drawn in the normal lows and normal high temperatures for this time of year. We are definitely above normal Thursday and even Friday. And we go back to very normal temperature regime uh, beyond that. Freezing is down below the blue line. And so we are, and maybe next Friday we have a chance of some colder air, but uh, not too uh, excited about that. This is the ensemble runs for precipitation out at the bottom. They run the uh, GFS model a number of different times, different parameters, and see how consistent it is. And for the Friday night, in Saturday night storms, uh, there's a lot of agreement. For Friday night, it's not a lot of precipitation, a little more uh, substantial Friday night, I'm uh, oh, sorry, Saturday night, a little bit later Saturday. So there's a chance of thunderstorms and some water. Beyond that, it becomes very kind of scattered until later in the week where maybe somewhat better storm signals starting to show up. Let's put this all into motion, taking a look at the 500 millibar map. Again, let me explain the colors and the lines first, and as it comes back around, we'll talk about the weather. So the red colors here are above normal heights. The blue colors are below normal heights. The height of the 500 millibar level gives you an idea of where these uh, storms and uh, high pressure ridges uh, are. It's how high you have to go up into the atmosphere above sea level to find half pressure. Sea level is about a thousand, a little bit more than a thousand millibars. So coming around, we're up to May 10th. So here we go. The winds are usually blowing at this level right along these lines. So Thursday, the beginning of the cycle here, we've got that big ridge giving us near record temperatures that kind of depresses Friday into Saturday as uh, a short wave trough pushes in and a larger trough is approaching from the west. By the end of the weekend, there's still some ridginess over us and to our east until Monday, Tuesday, when a trough passes through the northern Rockies. The ridge kind of reestablishes itself on the west coast, getting pretty strong out there. Looking at some good heat in California and Pacific Northwest by the end of next week. We have northwest flow at the end of next week, bringing cold air down and giving us that chance of storminess. As we said last week, northwest flow, you can get any little ripple can kick stuff off. So looking out for the next seven days, a little more detail, Thursday through Friday, pretty warm, 80s, chance of showers coming in in the afternoon and evening overnight. Friday, Saturday, a repeat, but a little cooler and a little moister with the evening showers, a little rumble of thunder or two possible. Sunday, we dry out. Bounce back briefly to the low 80s, and then another front comes in, cooling us down to the upper 60s Tuesday, low 70s Wednesday, but dry. Let's check in on moisture in the soil for the state. The northern mountains and much of northern Colorado is in pretty good shape. Eastern plains are just starting to see a little bit of drought uh, show up. The southern counties are a more severe drought, so things are down there could benefit from some uh, rain, and that isn't coming uh, over the next seven days or so. The southwestern part of the state's also looking pretty dry, so do a, do a, a dance for some rain. The May outlook from the from NOAA, the Climate Prediction Center. It is not available yet, so I, but I do have the April through June outlook. April was below normal temperatures right until the end here, and we were above normal in precipitation. So that's kind of, I guess, in there if the forecast was right. But for this April through June period, basically spring, we have above normal temperatures expected and very near normal precipitation. Next week, I'll have the, uh, the May forecast to put out there. I'll try to scare up the um, April summary so we can compare 
the last April with this April. For more local news and updates, take a look at longmontobserver.org. I also post more frequent weather updates and even sometimes hourly things as uh, storms progress. So check out longmontobserver.org for that. This has been your weather forecast for the week beginning Thursday, April 30th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Unsworth for Longmont Public Media. Keep looking out.